Now, with the Premier League at a standstill, along with the rest of the sporting world due to the coronavirus pandemic, Liverpool players manager uh, Jurgen Klopp and backroom staff checked in and gathered online ahead of a remote yoga session, echoing the club's mantra to stay home, save lives, in line with the overall message to keep in touch and stay active together with family and friends. The players joined online one by one. English soccer is suspended until at least April 30th due to the coronavirus crisis, but the current season can be extended indefinitely, the English game's governing bodies said in a joint statement. And the Wimbledon Tennis Championships were cancelled for the first time since World War II as the coronavirus pandemic wiped another blue ribbon sports event off the calendar. While the decision had looked inevitable for some time since the virtual shutdown of the world sport and postponement of the Tokyo Olympics, Wimbledon had been one of the few events not to have been officially cancelled or postponed. But after emergency talks between the various stakeholders over the last few days, the All England Lawn Tennis Club announced that it was impossible for the Grass Court Grand Slam, scheduled for June 29th to July 12th, to take place. The men's ATP Tour and women's WTA Tour are already suspended until at least June 7th. But it looks extremely unlikely that any professional tennis will be possible throughout the summer as a pandemic worsens in Europe and the U.S. All right, and that's the very latest from the Citizen TV newsroom at this hour. Let's take you over to Afia House just to give you a situation update on what's happening there. We are getting ready to hear from the Health Cabinet Secretary, Mutai Kagwe, to give his daily brief. Our very own Chamutai Gwen is on the ground and will be giving us an update on that shortly. But for now, we'll take you back to your regular viewing. I'm Victoria Rubadiri.